dexterous styles unlock special moves for ranged weapons and other abilities crucial to a skilled fighter. That's right, we want uh, aimed range is the one that we need to unlock the gargoyles, so we have to upgrade this twice before we can use the gargoyles. The greater your accuracy, the more damage you will inflict with pistols, rifles and crossbows. Pretty good. The greater your speed, the faster you will be able to unleash attacks upon your enemies. I suppose the most important ones will be dexterous styles, because if you have sub-targeting the maximum level that opened up, you can unleash a massive amount of diamonds by zooming in on their heads. Let's go for strength. <coughs> what do we have here? Brutal styles unlock special moves for use in close combat. Okay. The stronger your physique, the more damage you will cause with close combat weapons. It's a very dark picture here. It's hard to see anything um, in that little preview. Plus, in this game, in the old game, buying lots of physique would make you a very bulky person all around. In this game, it just makes you top bulky. And I don't know, it just doesn't look... It gives you a proper barrel chested, you know what I mean? It doesn't look very appealing if you want to go for a, a well-designed character in terms of appearance. But, you know, uh, so our character's going to have a big barrel chest, but the way we're designing him, hopefully it won't matter. A tougher hero is able to withstand more damage before falling in battle. That's what we need. For, that's the most important one of strength in my opinion, and extra style for that one, and whatever, let's get to it. So. Excellent. Can you feel the power coursing through you? It sure can, baby. Alright. Use your okay. will ability to hit the flit switch and power up the gate. One will allow you to travel back to Bower Lake. Well done. Yep. Now you are ready to begin your journey. Use the Cullis Gate. Oh -ho. Time to fight some more beetles, of course. Use your newfound abilities to defeat them. Let's get chopping. Ah, what the fuck is that? Of course. That's a glitch. Make your way That's a good old glitch. Meet you there. Check it out. That's what we get for using shock on a beetle. We should get a giant ball of random shock power. <laughs> it feels good against my body. It fills me with confidence and energy. Okay, so we can buy a skill now. There we go. Roll, which is okay, especially for fighting. Especially for medi fighting, surprisingly. So, there we go. Uh, Alright, welcome. That's a, that down there is a little whirlpool we can hop in and check for an item. It's like another dig spot, but in the water. Pretty cool. Alright, keep your eyes out for a rabbit. We're gonna shoot a rabbit. We get a bit of. There we go. Is that a rabbit? Hello, bunny. Goodbye, bunny. So proud of yourself, big brave hunter killed an innocent rabbit? How do you sleep at night? In a bed. Well, I'm going to just turn on the safety again so I don't have to kill any more rabbits. I mean, it doesn't really matter to me, but you know, you could shoot a villager and that could be troublesome because guards could eat you. Alright, swim past these rocks, let's have a look at that whirlpool over there. And of course, our poochie is swimming with us somewhere. He'll, he'll catch up. Alright, there it is. What do we have down here? Ali hoop. Potion of life. So, in the old game we had the elixir of life, and this is a potion of life. The same sect of old kingdom alchemists who are said to have solved the secret of immortality also created the recipe for this life prolonging potion. Few have the knowledge or the skill to brew it successfully now. And for some reason, someone threw it in the ocean, or the lake in this case. I will drink it. Nice. A little bit extra of health. And there's probably a load of those scattered around the game. Ooh, nice random rock there. It's an architectural piece. Let's uh, let's head out. We'll be visiting these places again at some point. Another world war. Why not? Money! Nice bit of money. 
some beetles up there. Time to kill them, I guess. Or are those birds? They're birds. Alright, let's see if I can sneak up here without them noticing. I killed a crow now, too. There we go, I killed two crows, causing them to explode into big clouds of blood. We're gonna unlock a mix of items and weapons. Don't you worry about that. I plan to get a bit of everything first. That golden trail. We'll come back to here at some point. Alright, let's keep going. The road, the road, where the fuck? Here's the map. I can use my map to change where the glowing trail is going, can I? Yeah, no, I, I don't think I can. Let's keep going along this lovely road here. We might run into a gypsy, a trader, a guard, a bandit. Bring them all on. Surprisingly, there's no bandits around now. Until I get a high difficulty, then they magically come to see me. I guess that's how that works. Okay, let's keep walking. I feel the need to feel the breeze between my knees. So, where can I do this? Yeah, we... We want no clothes. The best warriors are naked. How do you think the Celts did so well? They never got conquered by anyone. Apologies, citizen. The road Apologies. to Bearstone is closed due to the bandit activity. Those words don't begin with H. As long as the bandit thag is alive, the road stays closed. If you're in an hurry, like, you can always take care of thag yourself. So, like, you know, you guys decided to build a blockade instead of doing so, something about it. The road to yeah. Barstone is closed. It would seem thag has been capturing traders on their way to the Bower Lake camp. He is a danger to all and must be dealt with. With my dog. Power, you should be able to defeat him and his gang, and continue your quest. No doubt they are at his camp near Bower Lake. Ah, this lovely thing will come in handy later on. Assassin's coat. But for now, we're going nude. No armor. Then again, there isn't any armor in the game to begin with, so what am I complaining about? Time to be <laughs> ambushed by bandit activity. You don't even need to turn the safety off, it'll do it automatically. Keep your Ready? wits about you. It may be a trap. It's a trap? Look out! It's an ambush! No shit. Bandits! I'm just gonna mash this button here for a while. More will show up. I can roll, I can roll, I can serve! I heard you the first two times. I have more important matters, like trying to kill bandits. Oh dear, spinny spinny. <laughs> These bandits though. Hmm, what are they saying? Let's, let's have a little listen. I'm just gonna... Yeah. To cut them to pieces, man. Don't let that hang. Unleash your new powers to defeat Thag and his men. The ability to swing maces. Or those tricks and fight like a man. Oh, four zap people. Nice. Skadoosh. Come back from the grave to kill you right back. Hmm, what happens if I do this? Nothing. A real bandit never surrenders. Please stop. <laughs> He's not happy. This can't be happening. 
What's that? <laughs> You're trying to flirt with someone who is very unlikely to fall in love with you. Perhaps they prefer another gender, or too young, or a bloody bandit. All right. You what? <laughs> He's confused. Mm. There's an achievement night here we can use. Let's see what it says. <laughs>